Hi guys. Um, so this is uh, probably the first video I'm ever making on YouTube because I don't normally do videos or content or anything like that. But this time I thought it'd be worth it because I've had so much hassle trying to install a Google Nest Hello wired doorbell with an electronic chime, which is one of these, which is a Honeywell Home DW. 915s i believe now this particular model works either wired taking 220 volts uk electricity input and then uh, taking it out into low voltage um zero volts to 24 volts via abg transformer so i actually had my electricians when we were uh, refurbishing our house run some wires or attempt to install this doorbell which they absolutely messed up so I was really um, frustrated about that so I ended up correcting their mistakes in uh, a lot of the places so what actually happens is you ha we have RJ45 cables connected from our Nest Hello doorbell running under our stairs and then I've had to because they the cables were too short i had to rerun some cables and what i've done is i've joined some telephone cable Oop, just turn the flash on and again some telephone cable Let's just put this down i've run some telephone cable which i joined from the rj45 cables and you can see that they come in two pairs so I've actually run it into my BG transformer um, and directly from my RJ45 for the Nest Hello. And they've come out this little hole the other side. And what you have is you have two pairs in here. You have white, orange and orange. And then you have white, blue and blue. Now on the Honeywell Home, what you actually have is you have six terminal points marked A1, A2, B1, B2, AC1, and AC2. Now, some of the videos I saw didn't actually tell you what these were for. So A1, A2 is actually for the Chime um, connector or supports the doorbells. Um, um, you can have two doorbells in these, so hence A and B. And then AC1, AC2 are the power. And then over on the right, you have this Google circle um, or connector which makes the electronic chime operate. So how does this work then? Um, the main nuances of this is firstly the terminal pins will actually break because you're trying to get the connections in and out so many times. Um, but the way this the way this works is you have your BG transformer wire and your Nest Hello wire which in my instance i kept the colors the same blue going into either ac1 or ac2 in in my instance i chose ac2 so it's important to get the power from the transformer which converts the 220 into the um 8 volts to the 24 volts which this supports um into ac1 or ac2 so ac2 has the power from the transformer and ac2 also has the doorbell power coming into it which is powered up by the transformer and then you have out of the cable from the bg transformer and you can see i've marked on the chime connector the transformer power the orange cables joined together going into the chime connector and then the dark gray chime connector to power it up or power up the doorbell is going into ac1 then you have the white, orange and orange, which I've twisted as a pair coming out of my Nest Hello doorbell going into the Chime connector. And then that is the white wire, which is this one here, going into A1, which is powering up the actual um, doorbell or making the, when somebody presses the doorbell, making the Chime ring via that button. So I've actually just fixed it all back together with the screws and put the adhesive on the chime connector and the back of this looks a little bit like this 
So this just plugs straight in and you can see on the back it says um, 8 volts AC and 2 amps. I'm not going to go into the installation but the installation is fairly self-explanatory. Now I've actually installed it with the wedge um, at the back. You might just be able to make it out there in black. Um, so it gives us a 15 degree tilt and the camera is actually running and I've set it up in Nestaware. So we press the doorbell and there's no delay. So if I keep holding the phone and the camera where it is and press it again with my right hand, there you go.